Hey, what's up YouTube? Thanks for stopping by. This is my first ever video. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome to my first video. In this video, we're going to look at getting IP geolocation information using Python. Uh, and we're going to be leveraging a public API to do that. And let's get started. So we get started with our typical shebang line and we need to import the request library. We're going to store the URL in a variable called URL and we'll just copy this and paste it in here and we'll just throw in the Google DNS server and then we have to make a get request. So before we do that, let's create another variable called response and it'll be request.get and our URL. And then we'll print response, python3, geolocate.py. And we get a 200 response, so that's good. So we're going to say response.text. And there we go. And just because we can, let's pipe it into JQ. What if we want to actually query another address? Well, we don't want to manually change uh, this IP address up here. So what we can actually do is import another library called arg parse. So let's define a function called get args and in here we're going to create a parser object and then here we want to add parser.add underscore argument and then our argument. Then we have to give it a destination. Our destination we're going to call IP and then to give it a little help menu option we'll say IP address to look up. All right, and now we're going to parse the arguments and we're going to store that in a variable called options. And then we want to return options. We have to call our get args function. So we're going to say options equals get underscore args. And then for the URL, instead of doing this here, we can do an F string and we can say options.ip and we're going to make that an F string. Let's do this and we'll we have an argument now, so we have to give it an argument of dash i. So we'll say 8.8.8.8. And we get some JSON. Let's try a different one. 4.2.2.2. And there we go. Now, uh, let's look at the actual fields portion of this real quick, just to see what kind of fields we have. So these are the defaults if you use the numerical notation, but there's actually more options than that here. So let's just choose a few and we're going to say question mark fields equals, let's say we want the country, the region name, the city, latitude, longitude, and let's go with ISP. So now when we do this, and I'm actually, I'm going to pipe this into JQ again. We get only the six that we specified rather than everything. So that's pretty neat. So now let's actually make this a function uh, to make this a little bit easier to work with. Because eventually we're going to want to pass in a list. And to take it in as a list, we're going to want to be able to call the function every time instead of having to run through all this stuff here. Let's see here. Let's create a, another variable. We'll call it. Uh, located list and this is going to be used later so we can kind of ignore this for now but we're going to create a function we'll call it locate and we want to actually take in an object and we're going to say our IP is equal to options.ip let's go ahead and set our URL we'll add that in. So now we want to take in the IP address and we, we need a way to track that. So when we get to the part where we create a list and we're querying a list, we need a way to track that information. Uh, the best way to do that is to create a dictionary. But before we do that, we actually need to, since we're using JSON data here, we're going to store the response data in a variable called response data. And we actually want response dot JSON. So that gives us a nice way to work with this data that gets returned, especially later 
once we have a list of IP addresses. And then we're going to say IP underscore data is going to be a dictionary. And the key is going to be IP underscore address. And the value is going to be IP. And once we do that, we're going to combine the response data, uh, JSON data with the IP data dictionary because the JSON um, the JSON object that we get in response is, is going to be like a dictionary key value uh, pairs. We're going to store this in results and we're going to say two asterisks IP underscore data. So this will be the key of our, um, our new dictionary and then double asterisk response underscore data. So these will be the values. So these two asterisks here, these are a way that you can order a dictionary and combine two dictionaries. So you you set the order based on where you want the key value pairs, but when you give the two asterisks in front of the key and the value, it says, hey, I want the IP data dictionary to be the key, and I want the response data to be the value, and it will kind of uh, combine those two in their respective uh, key value locations in those dictionaries. And then after that, we have to append our located list and we're going to append results. We're going to print the response.txt and then actually we need to do one more thing. We need to call our function. So let's call our locate function on options.ip. And now when we come down here and we say python3 geolocate.py dash i, uh, let's go with a different IP address this time. Let's say, I don't know, 103.88. 54.23 and okay that's a IP address in India and if we pipe into JQ we get all of our information so that's cool so now we have a locate function so now we can kind of prepare ourselves to be able to pass in a file that has a list of IP addresses now I'll be honest I've played around with this before already so we're gonna need to import sleep uh, from time import sleep because when you send a bunch of requests to this API it actually doesn't end up returning sometimes or sometimes it errors out so we want to be able to slow that down so we don't cause a denial of service or you know it's not really going to take down the server but it it has the same effect You'll, you won't be able to query all the information you want especially if you have a large list so we're going to say sleep for two seconds and I'm going to go ahead and comment this out because we're not going to need that. Let's create another function. And we're going to call it process underscore file. And we're going to take in a file. Let's not call it file. Let's call it IP file. Okay, so let's define another list. And this one we're going to call IP list. And here we need to open our file. So we'll say with open options, I cannot type today, dot file. We're gonna open it in read mode and we'll just call it F and then lines equals F dot read lines. So now we have, um, we have our context manager to open our file, which is nice because then we don't have to actually close the file when we're done. After it you know, goes through this with statement, it, it, it'll automatically close the file. So we're gonna take in our file and read the lines into the variable lines. And so we'll say for line and lines, and I'm struggling, IP underscore list dot append. We wanna append our line. The way this works with the read lines is you have a new line character at the end of every line, and we actually don't want that. It's going to uh, mess up our data, so we have to strip. But, but and then we'll say for IP and IP underscore list options dot IP equals IP, and we have to specify options dot IP because that's what we um, that's what we're getting to pass into our locate function. Then we're going to say locate options.ip. And actually where we call this function here, we're going to end up getting rid of that. And we will 
we need to determine whether or not we're opening a file or if we're opening a or excuse me if we're passing in an IP address and actually before we even do that let's go ahead and copy this and let's create our file argument let's go here we'll say that's F and we'll come here and this will be file IP is going to be file and we'll say a list of IP addresses to look up. So now we have um, our options are dash I and dash F. Now we need to, how are we going to handle this? We'll say if options dot IP and we'll do this here. We'll do our locate. And we'll say LF, ELF, <laughs> great movie, options.file. Put in the comments if you think ELF was a great movie or if you disagree. It doesn't matter to me. I thought it was pretty hilarious. Process underscore file. And we're going to process options.file. And that should be it. So now... We can print our located list and let's cross our fingers and hope this works. So let's go ahead and use our IP option again just to make sure. Okay, we got something there. Invalid numeric letter. Let's try it without JQ because we don't need JQ for this. Okay, so it actually did work. So you can't pipe it into JQ uh, when you're doing it this way. So that's nice. All right, so we have that. And now let's um, let's make an, a file. We'll call it list.txt. And we're just going to put in some IP addresses. And what was our other thing? 108. Dot, I don't remember. 92.76.45. How about that? Save that. So now we can try instead of dash i we're going to use dash f and we're going to call it what do we call that list.txt look at that so we have in our first dictionary we have our ip address and our first address 8.8.8.8 .8 our second key value pair we have is our 4.2.2.2 and our third ip address we have is 108.92.76.45 so this actually worked that's uh that's cool so that's neat, but what if you actually really wanted to look at this data and you wanted to see it in a nice way? Maybe you have to turn it into someone or you just want to be able to read it. Uh, we can actually do that with a couple of other libraries that are native to Python. The only one that you would have to actually pip install for this is a request that I believe. I think the rest of this is all part of the Python standard library. So um, we can actually use one called tabulate. So to import that, we have to from tabulate, import tabulate. There's another one as well, and it's from operator import item getter. So this will allow us to um, basically print a nicely formatted table based on headers, and the headers we're going to give it are going to be some keys. In order to do this, uh, we're going to say print tabulate sorted, and we want to print our sorted located list. And the key we're going to use for our column headers, if you will, is going to be item getter IP underscore address headers equals keys. I'm actually going to maximize this window so we can run this against our list again. Actually, let's do the IP first. 8.8.8.8. So we actually have a, uh, a nice little table here. And now let's run it against our list.txt. And there we go. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, please subscribe. Please give it a like. Thanks for watching.